by the fells of the North Pennines, Appleby Horse Fair is over for another year. The flag of the four Roma tribes will soon be carefully folded away. But times, as the caravans pull off site, are changing for gypsy society. In our lifetime, for the very first time, we actually do have a voice and we're learning how to use it. We've come to the campsite of Billy Welch Sit here, on. who's Shera Rom, or leader exactly. of the Sinti tribe. Right, right here. Yeah, sit down. Yeah. Well, we do vote. Yeah. We live in a democracy. Yeah. The democracy is good, but we don't use it. No. We live no. in a democracy and we don't no. use it. We've got to start using it. And the government thinks there's about 360,000 gypsies and travellers in this country. Yeah. It's easy a million, maybe a million and a half. Yeah. And in the event of a close run election, Right. We could make a difference Absolutely. toward the one political party getting yeah. in or another one getting kicked out. So or staying in Europe and staying out of Europe. Or staying in Europe or staying out of Europe. For the best part of a week, thousands of gypsies converged on Appleby. There's nothing quite like it anywhere else in the world to bathe their horses in the River Eden. Parade wagons and horses for sale or just for show along Appleby's streets, flashing as it's called and discussing not just the finer points of horses, but how to vote in the coming referendum in this heatwave horse fair. 80% of gypsies are now housed these days. Permanent addresses means being registered to vote. And with the referendum finally balanced, a community of over a million is significant. There's plenty of horse fairs in the UK, but none of them compare to Appleby, like, it's also a very big social event for gypsies and it's very special to us like. But on the referendum issue, Billy's son Johnson is still wavering. I understand that a lot of people want to be out because like they love like they, they love the country, they love Britain, they're very patriotic and they they're afraid of losing that national identity, what we have. And I am myself because I'm very proud of being British. And you, you feel British? Yeah, I feel British. Right. I'm a British I'm a British gypsy and I'm really proud of our British identity. Appleby is part of Britain's heritage, do you know what I mean? So I want I do I do want to keep Britain British, but I think it would be better for the Roma people, for gypsies, if we stayed in Europe. Of course, all of this is a gloriously unscientific snapshot. There's been no polling of the gypsy community and as to how they might feel. One thing's clear though, as well as all the usual issues, health, education, immigration. There is, for this community, one other outstandingly important issue. Billy told us his tribe's been pretty undecided until now, but one thing has finally swung it for him and his people, one thing above all others. But I think as gypsies, as an ethnic minority who does suffer quite a bit of prejudice and racism, we think we're safer in Europe. There's one good thing that's come out of Europe for us, was the European Court of Human Rights, and it has improved our life. I've been talking the last few days on this fair, and we've all 99% decided we'll stay in, I think, because it will be better for us in the long run. Off camera, we all talked happily about the referendum. On camera, a different matter. Few would talk, few would still be named, but it is clear Billy's stay in decision is far from universal. When you think about what the benefits would be to come out, what goes through your mind? What, what's good for you? It just means that we're going to be more independent and it's going to mean that we're going to still be able to do the things that we want to do, but in our own country instead of having to have someone else tell us what we can and can't do. Are you going to vote? I haven't got my voting card through the door yet, so I'm still waiting for that. Still waiting? Yeah. Right. But, and when it comes, will you? Yes, I will. Right. Yeah. What about out. you, sir? Out. We think out. Yep. For us, living in our house, we think out. You're out. Right. Yeah. The convoys are heading home now, but a sense here that the Roma gypsies are finding their voice, asserting, along with the rest of us, some influence over the coming decision. Down by the Eden, it's as if the fair never happened. The brief embrace of settled and travelling communities now two centuries old has parted again, leaving both to embrace also the coming choice on June the 23rd. Alex Thompson, Channel 4 News, Appleby in Westmoreland.